The Gospel According to Luke, Chapter 12. In the meantime, when there were gathered together an innumerable multitude of people, so that they stepped one on another, he began to say to his disciples first of all, Beware you of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered, that shall not be revealed, neither hid, that shall not be known. Therefore whatever you have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which you have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed on the housetops. And I say to you my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear, fear him, which after he is killed has power to cast into hell, yes, I say to you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings, and not one of them is forgotten before God? But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Also I say to you, whoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. But he that denies me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. And whoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him, but to him that blasphemes against the Holy Ghost it shall not be forgiven. And when they bring you to the synagogues, and to magistrates, and powers, take you no thought how or what thing you shall answer, or what you shall say. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what you ought to say. And one of the company said to him, Master, speak to my brother, that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said to him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said to them, Take heed, and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. And he spoke a parable to them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do, I will pull down my barns, and build greater and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have much goods laid up for many years, take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your soul shall be required of you, then whose shall those things be, which you have provided? So is he that lays up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. And he said to his disciples, Therefore I say to you, Take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, neither for the body, what you shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them, how much more are you better than the fowls? And which of you with taking thought can add to his stature one cubit? If you then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take you thought for the rest? Consider the lilies how they grow, they toil not, they spin not, and yet I say to you, that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothe the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And seek not you what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, neither be you of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knows that you have need of these things. But rather seek you the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you. Fear not, little flock for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that you have, and give alms, provide yourselves bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that fails not, where no thief approaches, neither moth corrupts. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about, and your lights burning. And you yourselves like to man that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord when he comes shall find watching, truly I say to you, that he shall gird himself, and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. And this know, that if the manager of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have a watched, and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be you therefore ready also, for the Son of Man comes at an hour when you think not. Then Peter said to him, Lord, speak you this parable to us, or even to all? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household, to give them their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord when he comes shall find so doing. Of a truth I say to you, that he will make him ruler over all that he has. But and if that servant say in his heart, My Lord delays his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken. The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looks not for him, 
and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in sunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant, which knew his Lord's will, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not, and did commit things worthy of stripes, shall be beaten with few stripes. For to whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required, and to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask the more. I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I, if it be already kindled? But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I straight until it be accomplished? Suppose he that I am come to give peace on earth? I tell you, no, but rather division. For from now on there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And he said also to the people, When you see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway you say, There comes a shower, and so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, you say, There will be heat, and it comes to pass. You hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky and of the earth but how is it that you do not discern this time? Yes, and why even of yourselves judge you not what is right? When you go with your adversary to the magistrate, as you are in the way, give diligence that you may be delivered from him, lest he hail you to the judge, and the judge deliver you to the officer, and the officer cast you into prison. I tell you, you shall not depart there, till you have paid the very last mite.